Hey everyone and welcome to this video. I'm Minx Laura123. This is going to be a spend the weekend with me vlog so hope you enjoy watching. If you do please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Also don't forget to smash that notification bell to all notifications. Then you can see when I'm doing live streams and also when I've uploaded new videos. Okay so it's Saturday morning. The time is about 10 o'clock. I got up this morning and I was like, should I just lay around in bed and be super lazy and comfortable and cozy or should I go out? Um, so I'm out. Um, I thought it'd be good to get out. It might wake me up a bit, give me some exercise, you know, first thing in the morning and some fresh air. And I thought I could just go around some shops. I've got some library books to take back as well. So I'm going to do that in a minute. So yeah, I'm out and about, but I uh, hope you enjoy spending the weekend with me. I always really love looking at the art outside the library. I never get bored of it, it's just so cool. And I love the way like the little squares are so different, like they're so unique with their art. This is my favorite one, like the steampunk vibed one. I just think that's so cool. This one says, a smile is the most beautiful thing you can wear. Ah, all right, let's smile. <laughs> that was really cheesy, hold on. Natural smile, Laura. Oh. Okay, right, I'm gonna walk over to the library now and put my books in. I don't think I've got any to collect today, so I'm just gonna take a couple back. easily distracted by dragons <laughs> I love the way they do the little tables with like themes and stuff so obviously this one is all like dragon themed I think I read that once ages ago dragons promise hmm it looks familiar oh this one looks pretty cool look fire with fire two sisters divided they burn what if the story we've been told about dragons is wrong hmm Gods, heroes and monsters, myths and legends from around the world. It looks amazing. I like the face. <laughs> yeah, the eyes are the best. Yeah, and very colourful as well. Really cool. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Well, they've done a very good job. Yeah. Done better than I could do. <laughs> I thought, while I'm here, I'm going to walk up the stairs. Good exercise, because there's a lot of stairs. Um, and just look if there's any new YA books coming. Because I do like my YA. I do read adult books as well, by the way. But <laughs> I do like YA books. Seeing if there's any new books that interest me. does look pretty cool I might have to get that because it just sounds and looks really cool it's like half sort of normal book but half like manga anime kind of vibes so graphic novel hmm. that is a good book I love that this is how you fall in love um Anika Hussain really really good book I love that that's quite good as well Nick Stone jackpot that was good thought I'd have a little walk down here just to see this beautiful view. I haven't been down the end of the high street, like near the pier and stuff for ages. So I thought I'd just have a little wander and just, you know, have a little look for a minute because it's so pretty. I have to make sure that I hold my phone properly because otherwise it's a long drop down there. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just, I don't know, peaceful and relaxing, this view. And obviously once it starts get, getting a bit warmer with the weather, I'll be, you know, walking along the seafront and stuff like that. So to Nathan, I want to start doing that more this year, going for walks. You know, especially because both of us are on our kind of 
lose weight, get fit and healthy in 24, and we've been doing walking and stuff. So that'd be lovely in the summer to just have like walks along here and that. Um, maybe go for a drink somewhere or whatever. But yeah, just thought I'd have a little wander along here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. <laughs> it's kind of creepy, but kind of cool. I like it. There she is up close. She's a little bit scary, I think, but I like her. <laughs> this is what I'm wearing today. I really like this top. Got it in Primark ages ago. <sighs> Just nice having a little wander, you know. Just uh, getting some fresh air and exercise. It's a cool tree. Look at that. <laughs> really cool. I like this little area. Over here, well, it's the Park Inn Radisson Hotel now, but back in the day it used to be, just over there, used to be uh, a bingo hall called the Palace Bingo. And uh, I would go there with my mum. <laughs> As a kid, it sounds bad now. They wouldn't allow kids in now, probably. But back in the 80s, 90s, they didn't care. Um, but yeah, used to go in the old palace bingo. <laughs> Many a good time had with mummy at the bingo. And she had like a group of friends as well that would sort of meet up with her and we'd all have a laugh and stuff. And I always got made a fuss of because I was the kid. Oh, there's the big wheel. is going to be buzzing in the summer it always gets super busy down here in the summer but yeah it's got two big wheels well that's obviously the bigger one and there's right there is the smaller big wheel um oh my god that is terrifying i'm terrified of heights so yeah i wouldn't go on that one when i was a kid um my dad used to take me on the sort of little one and i used to be terrified um so yeah i've never liked heights you see it's weird isn't it these phobias you get like some phobias you get as an adult because of experiences in life yeah but others like why was I as a kid frightened of heights like what happened to me that I was so scared of, of heights and just being up high even like looking at two, uh, tall buildings scares me then and now so like I just wonder like as a kid especially with phobias so my bag slipping down um like where does it come from those those fears but uh, I mean some phobias go away you know as you get older and some get worse or some say the same but anyway I'm rambling so <laughs> on to the Royals I'm gonna have a quick look in TK Maxx I'm not particularly a TK Maxx fan if I'm honest my friend Hannah loves TK Maxx I think she goes there like every day every time I talk to her she's like I went to TK Maxx I went to TK Maxx she always finds something new that she likes but I just, I don't know, I'm just kind of looking for Valentine's Day stuff. So I thought, yeah, I'll just try a few different shops that I don't normally go in. <laughs> right, okay. Well, I can see Easter stuff, but I can't really see Valentine's stuff yet. We'll see. We'll have a look. Oh, they're nice bowls. Look at them. They're really cool. I like those. All the mugs. We do not need any more mugs and cups. We've got so many, it's ridiculous. That is gorgeous. Look at that. That blue one. That's so pretty. A little cup and saucers. They're nice. Oh, wow, look at that. That is actually really pretty. That flowered one. This is what I've got to get. A water bottle, a new one. I've already got one, but I want another one. But these are probably super expensive. So let's have a look. Yeah, that one's like six quid. I could get that in Poundland for like a pound or whatever, 150. <laughs> I see these everywhere, these like mug things. Like travel mugs with the little handles. Ah, this is all the men's clothing. Rubbish, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Oh well. Let's have a little look. I could see loads of Easter stuff, but I couldn't see any Valentine stuff. I'm just in Card Factory in the Royals, and I found this really cute little book. It's called All the Little Reasons Why I Love You. And basically you can fill it in as you go along. It's so cute. So I'm gonna get that for Nathan for Valentine's. Thank 
<laughs> Hello. I don't know why I thought that was really cute. There's so many dogs and they were just like barking at each other. Right, I'm gonna look in Bernardo's charity shop. Alright, can I have a little look in Primark? Don't need anything, just want a little look around. Sometimes I just like, you know, looking around at stuff without having to actually buy anything. I mean, unless I see something I like, then it's different. Oh, that's cute, little denim bag. Not as big as my bag. I do like a big bag, <laughs> put lots of stuff in. But it is cute. All the fitnessy clothing and loungewear. Oh, see, this is nicer. I don't need a bag though, because I literally just got one the other day. Hold on. You can kind of see it. Like, it's like a quilted look. It's massive, so yeah, I don't need a bag. Looks super cosy, but kind of pointless because it's going to get hot soon. I've been moaning that I'm hot. Been moaning that I'm cold. Now I say I'm hot. Hello. I love this colour, like this brown, but they're fleece lined. And I don't know, like, they just make me feel too hot. My nails look gross, by the way. Oh my God, I need to do my nails when I get in. Ooh. I love a bit of Def Leppard. That's what Nathan watches, Dragon Ball Z. I recognize the name of it, that's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm in the changing room at Primark. I've got some dresses here. I'm just going to try on and uh, I'll see what happens. Ew. Okay. So it doesn't actually fit bad, but it's this bit I don't like. I don't know if you can see. Hold up. <laughs> it's like the line here should be sort of under there for me. Anyway, but yeah, it's not a good look. At least it fits. So <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go with that. You can definitely see more of my waist. Um, happening with the weight loss so that's good but it's a no from me I did get it in a 2xl as well but that'll probably be too big oh, I don't know and if that bit here will go down a bit more well, let's try mm. yeah, I still don't like it me oh oh it's horrible it's horrible and it feels weird like the material just feels really weird Ooh. I did get it in car key to try as well but it's gonna be the same so Ugh. Oh no, this is horrible. <laughs> it's just, I don't like the elasticated bit here, and once again this bit here, and at the back, wait, can you see the back? It's not good at the back. Eesh. Yeah. Mm. No. This is way too tight. <laughs> um, I love the colouring. Like, I really love the pattern, the floral pattern, and the colouring is lovely. But, um, I actually got this to try on in a uh, size large. They didn't have an XL, so that's why it's just too small. Let's be let's be real. Um, so overall, mm -mm. okay. So I've just come in by Marsh, and I've got a couple of tops to try on. So let's see. I love the colour and the print on this. I like it with leggings. Or tights I could wear this as a dress it's actually a shirt but because I'm so short it looks like a dress on me perfect <laughs> what do you think and I've got it in the smaller size as well because I wasn't sure if that one looked a bit too baggy whereas this one kind of goes in a bit on my waist and it's not as loose I don't know also, obviously while I'm losing weight, I don't want to get like a bigger size and then like in a month it'd just be too big and I can't wear it. Whereas this one, as I lost a bit of weight, it'd look even better if that makes sense. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Just got it over my bag. I don't know why, I just thought I'd try it on with my bag. Because <laughs> I'm weird like that. 
looks quite cool with the bag. Mm, don't like that one. Yeah. Okay, so just heading into Pets at Home. I need to get a dog grooming brush, which is a bit random because I haven't got a dog. But all will be revealed when I get home, okay? <laughs> In we go. Right, okay. I've never had to look for a dog brush. So I assume it's around here with all the doggy stuff. Oh, look. <laughs> Dolly Parton. Dog hat. Oh, my. That's funny. Um, right. Now, these are all dog bowls and food. Don't need that. My toys and stuff. I need a little dog grooming brush. Oh, cute. All right, I think these are toys. Uh, leads and collars. Nope, I just want a little dog grooming brush. Oh, look, <laughs> the sausages. Oh, they're funny, they are. Okay, well, I've seen outfits, toys, leads. I cannot find. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Cannot find a dog grooming brush. I'm gonna have to ask someone. Okay, so just got home. I've had to uh, put my sweatshirt on because that jumper, oh my God, it made me so hot. Um, I'm just having some cranberry juice, which is the Sainsbury's uh, no added sugar cranberry juice. Cranberry juice is very good for you. Anyway, uh, do my breakfast. I'm just putting a couple of eggs on and I'll have that with some toast. Um, and I've also, just before I eat that, I have to have my Benicol, which I have every day because it's good for lowering cholesterol. It's just a little yogurt drink, but yeah, I really like it actually. Nathan has them as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have something to eat and uh, enjoy it because I haven't eaten all morning, which is really silly. The time is now 10 past one. And I've just been out for hours, more than I thought I was going to be. So it's all good exercise, though. I've just looked at my pedometer on my phone, and apparently I'm literally that much, that much under 10,000 steps. And that's before I do all the housework and the exercise bike and all that. So come on. <laughs> but yeah, just going to have something sweet now. Okay, shall I, if I'm chewing, I'm eating an apple, which is good and healthy. An apple a day keeps a dog foot away. Exactly. So... We are going to start doing the housework in a bit, but we both agreed we just want a little chill out before the chores. Exactly. Chill out before chores. Yes. So we're going to watch uh, Ghost Adventures. We're up to the last episode. Yes, we are. In the newest series. So yeah. would you do the honours and tell us where it is and what it's about, please? So this is season 27, episode 5, Nightmare in Northridge. The crew don their spiritual armour. To evict evil from a California home. Ooh. Ooh. I'll just tell you quickly, it made me laugh. Someone put in the comments the other day, because you talk sort of over here and I'm over yeah. here. And it sounded like I'd locked you in a cupboard. She does. She does. <laughs> I don't lock she it. locks me in a cupboard. Shut Help up. Me. Oh, I don't. <laughs> it just made me laugh. Help me. Help me. Call the dust on that TV and let's give that a good wipe. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to watch this in um, housework time, yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay, so we're just about to start the housework. Ghost Adventures was super creepy. It was, creepy. It was so creepy. They had an exorcist and just... <sighs> anyway, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I've changed my clothes again, in case you think I'm some weirdo. It's because I've got my breakfast all down my sweatshirt, which I put in the uh, washing machine. Um, <laughs> so now I'm wearing this. With a t-shirt underneath because it's absolutely freezing. We're going to put the central heating on, but because we're going to be rushing around doing the housework now, we just make ourselves hot. So we'll make our own heat. Heat through housework. Um, so we're going to start with the kitchen. We're going to use, um, where is it? I love this stuff. Oh, yeah, the lid's a bit broken. This is the Flash Sparkling Home um, Wild Berries, and it smells so nice. Is that the one that smells yeah. like Turkish Delight? Yeah, that's the one that smells like Turkish Delight. It's a very nice cleaner. Speaking so, of Turkish Delight, you've got a Turkish Delight model of light to try still. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, no, I need to try that. Hold on, let me show you. We've got this yogurt. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Hold on. It's a uh, Muller Light Turkish Delight flavoured limited edition yogurt. What? Well, I don't know if it's going to be horrible or nice. You do like Turkish Delight. I love Turkish Delight. I can't eat it anymore because it's so chewy, but I do like it. Do like it nice. And this is a yogurt. 
But the only problem with it is because it's got sprinkled with uh, dark chocolate. I'd hate yeah, dark chocolate. Top. Do you reckon it's only at the top? Yeah, hang it inside. No? It's sprinkled with. Okay, well, maybe I'll try it later. Give it a little spoonful. Anyway, we'll stop rambling. You ready to do housework? Okay. High five me. High five me. <laughs> Don't leave me hanging, have fun. <laughs> okay, so all of downstairs is done and we are doing upstairs now. I'm going to start off with the bathroom. Okay, so I need to get everything off the shelf because I've got to clean that. Okay, so the time is now quarter past five and I'm pleased to say the housework is done. Yay. Um, the only thing we didn't do is hoover upstairs. We did hoover downstairs. We haven't hoovered upstairs, but we're going to do that tomorrow. Also tomorrow we need to put the washing away, um, which is fine. Big bowl of that's put away. And also tomorrow, it's going to be a busy day tomorrow, um, we are going to be doing some sorting out of like sheets and duvet covers, all types of bedding basically some we're going to keep some will give to charity that kind of thing so yeah but we're just going to do that tomorrow um so yeah i'm going to have a lovely hot shower now because i haven't had a shower today i had a strict wash this morning done my teeth and everything but i haven't had a shower and i'm starting to feel a little bit like Ugh. so i'm gonna have a nice shower now and just like put some pjs on and just get nice and cozy and relaxed and uh yeah that is the plan okay so i had a lovely shower i feel very refreshed now wash my hair conditioned it etc um i'm in very comfy clothing now for a saturday night let me show you i've got my little uh, mermaid t-shirt on which is just so cute with um some lipstick lips on my pajama bottoms <laughs> and by the way i know they don't go but they're comfy um so we're just about to watch Gladiators Contender Ready Gladiator Ready Ready So yeah, we're going to watch Gladiators now And then we've got the Masked Singer as well We're going to have something to eat soon um, I did actually cook a cauliflower cheese and micro microwave And then I started to eat it And it just tasted disgusting I was like, oh, no Ugh, no. I don't want to sound it Scottish all of a sudden. Ugh, no. No, I don't want it. Anyway, so that went in the bin. I think I, I should give up on getting them cauliflower cheeses. You're not having any luck. I've had no luck. So I'm not going to have that anymore. But anyway, so what I've done, I've just stuck um, a couple of um, like vegan sausages in the oven. So I'm going to have them just as a little snack. Um, kind of like a lunch, I suppose. A late, very late lunch. Mm, eating at weird hours today and then for actual dinner i'm just gonna have a jacket potato with salad so yeah oh i see what's on the screen and it means stop rambling laura because it's gladiators da, 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 da. see you in a bit there's me vegan sausages whilst i watch gladiators 10 past 12 and uh while my video is editing I'm just going to have a little read now. So let me show you my book and tell you what it's about. So it's called The Fury and it's by, I still don't know how to say his name, Alex Malaikite. I can't say his name. Alex Malaikite. Michaelides. 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 Yeah, he could be right. Alex, what did you say? Michaelides. 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 I don't know. Anyway... Archimedes, but... He wrote the book, Silent Patient, which you remember me I loving. Remember you loving that one. It was very good. If you're into thrillers, psychological thrillers, check out Silent Patient. And The Maidens, also by him. Anyhow, um, so yeah, this says on the front page, there were seven of us on an island. One of us was a murderer. Da, da, da. Anyway, uh, so this was actually sent to me from the publishers ages ago. And I kept meaning to get around to it, and I finally have. Um, and it's literally just come out now in the shops in the last like week or so. So, 
If you're interested in it, then go check it out. It is available at all good bookstores and online, obviously. So let me tell you what it says. Um, right, okay. On a small private Greek island, former movie star Lana Farrar, an old friend, invites a select group of us to stay. It will be hot, sunny, perfect, a chance to relax and reconnect, and maybe for a few hidden truths to come out. Ooh. Uh, because nothing on this island is quite what it seems, not Lana, not her guests, certainly not the murderer, furiously plotting their crime. My name is Elliot Chase, and I'm going to tell you a story unlike any you've ever heard. The the. Duh. I don't know why I keep doing that, it's really irritating. An exhilarating, gripping new psychological thriller from the author behind the record-breaking multi-million copy. Wow, bestseller, The Silent Patient. And also The Maidens, which I think is not getting, the, you know, the props that it's deserved, because it is a good book as well. But anyway, so yes, new book. I am only on, uh, well, I'm just about to start chapter eight. There's my new bookmark. Oh, yeah. Um, and I've got to say, it's really, really good. I'm really enjoying it. I was reading last night. And I was so loving it. And then I just felt my eyes getting heavy and tired. And I was like, no, I hate that when, like, in my mind I want to read, but my eyes are just like, nah. Like, my body's telling me go to sleep, you know. So, yeah. But I'm going to have a nice read now. That's still doing its editing thing. So, yeah, I'll say good night for now. Good night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Chocolate Slim Fast for the win. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. The time is now five past ten. I'm just having me breakfast. Um, 204 calories, and it's got um, high protein, vitamins, minerals, no added sugar, etc. I don't have these every day, but I do have them sort of a few times during the week just as like a replacement meal. And I find the best time to have them is either in the morning or like for lunch. So, anyway... Uh, by the way, I'm not sponsored by them. I buy them out of my own hard-earned cash. So, um, I got up, had a shower, and um, I'm just going to go out in a minute. Well, in a couple of minutes, because I've got to walk to town. Um, I meet my friend Jenny today, which I'm really looking forward to. Just going to have a nice cup of tea with her, and a chat, and a catch-up, and a giggle. Um, so that is the plan. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so I just got to town. I was doing a live stream as I walked along. Which was really cool because I got to chat to viewers. I love doing that. Also had some new people there as well, which was really cool. Just chatting to them all around the world and stuff. So I love it. My friend's watching me. Oh, it's really embarrassing and cringy. I was just going to say, I've just got to the Remedy Tea Shop to meet Jenny. And she's right there. She's right there. So let's go in. Right, so with Jenny now, I've got my Diet Coke, you've got your Diet Coke, and what have you got for breakfast? You've got a little bit of salad, the side salad with an omelette, cheese and ham, nice, well not for me because I'm vegetarian, but for you it shall be nice, enjoy. Okay, so I had a nice time with Jenny, always good to see her, have a catch up, have a chat, have a laugh, she's a lovely, lovely girl, so really nice spending some time with her. Um, we went for our drink, she had something to eat. I didn't have something to eat because I had my slim fast, obviously. Um, and then, where did we go? Oh, we went in CX because she was looking for a couple of DVDs. And we also went in Sainsbury's together. So, got some bits. Ooh, always carrying heavy bags. Um, so, yeah, I'm now just walking home and uh, just going to chill for a little bit. And then we're going to start doing the sorting out of bedding. Um, some of the stuff will keep, some of the stuff, you know, charity shops or we bin it if it's, you know, stained or got holes in or whatever. There's a lot of bedding that needs to be sorted. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that in a bit. But, yeah, I think I'm just going to chill for like 10 minutes and have a little drink. Might have an apple. I'm not sure if to have an apple or a Barney cake bar. Hmm. <laughs> to be fair, the Barney cake bars ain't that fattening. They're like 100 calories. Um, so it's not too shabby for a little sort of snack, but obviously an apple's better, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what I go with, but um, yeah, once I've had a sit down, we'll just get started on what we've got to do. What's it time for? It's time for salting. Salting time. Are you ready? Let's you excited to salt? Let's get salted. Am I a salt? You're a right old salt. 
You sounded really Essex in. Know, you sounded yeah. like you could be on Towie. Oh, you have been on Towie. Yeah. An episode with Mark Wright and Arge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One of the first few episodes, I think. I'm still jealous of that. You, been on Towie. You don't even like Towie. I love Towie. Never been on it. No, both. Yeah. Who is nicer, Mark or Arge? Mark. Yeah. Mark seems a nicer Mark guy. Yeah. yeah. Been when they weren't yeah. even famous, yeah. yeah. But Mark's better looking yeah. than Arge. Yeah. I know you're not that way but if you had to judge on in flesh mark must yeah, be better looking Arch, yeah. yeah and nicer yeah, a nicer person, yeah. so there you go mark right if you're watching <laughs> anyway um we are just about to start <laughs> doing our sorting we've got duvet covers we've got sheets bedding galore let me show you a pile not like are you showing everyone your piles again <laughs> no like a pile of stuff piles Oh, look at all this. And here is Mix Laura's piles. Here's my piles. Not having that as a title. <laughs> um, some of this is going to have to go charity. Yeah. Some of this will keep. Because some of the stuff's all right for us. Yeah, some of it's all right. And other stuff might have to go in the bin. Yeah. But yeah, got, this this is all going to be cleared. Room. Oh, of course. In the in drawers. drawers. Yeah. yeah. Right, so in these drawers. Oh, God. Right, okay. So we've got duvet covers and pillowcases in there. Oh, more sheets and yeah. stuff. They're just full of them. Yeah. And they're just more sheets and some flannels. Oh, God. This more, I can't even, I can't open. even open it. I can't even open the drawer. That's my old Rainbow Bright one. Yeah. I had when I was a kid. Oh, God. Okay, we're going to be here a long time. So we better get started. Okay, so we're getting there. All this big bag here and this cushion is all for charity. So that's quite a big bag, a big bag to give to charity. We did have to throw some bits though because yeah. they were stained or ripped or whatever or just old and you know discoloured. So obviously we chuck those. And in the drawers. Okay. Right. So if you look in the drawers, oh <laughs> we've got some sheets in here. And I mean it's still a tight squeeze, but at least they're only ones that we want and that we're actually gonna use and stuff. So yeah, done pretty well. Okay, I just wanted to show you this can of drink. I got this for Nathan in the week. Um, in Hamlet Court Road, there is a, I think it's called Asian Mart, and they do all different like Asian foods and treats and bits and pieces. And um, we're actually going to go. I'm going to take you in there. Yeah, we're going to go there. You're going to love it. It's so much because you love all like Japan and like Kawaii stuff and different drinks and foods. Anyway, so I got in this can to try because they had all different like anime themed cans of drink. Um, this is Chun Li, and I think, is, did you say they're from Street Fighter? Yeah, Chun Li is from Street Fighter. And, yeah, they're quite low-calorie drinks as well, which is good. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Street Fighter. <laughs> 35th anniversary of Street Fighter. So, yeah, I just want to show you that because it's really nice. I just really think it's a lovely can. Ocean Bomb Sparkling Tea. So, um, yeah, Nathan's going to try it and we're going to see his reaction. All right, he's just had a look and it's about 30 calories this you can, which isn't too bad. You sniffing it? Can I sniff it? You know, I won't stick my nose in it. Oh, it's quite fruity, like mm. peachy. Peachy and fruity, like me. Ah, that's weird. I didn't know. I just thought it had a peach whiff. Scent. Oh, I'm looking at his face. Mm -hmm, that's nice. He's gone like that. Tastes like iced tea. Nice. You know, like the Peach iced Lipskin or something. Or yeah. yeah. So if you were to rate the imagery on the can, the aesthetics, how many out of ten? Uh, nine out of ten. It's cool. You want a Pokemon one? Pokemon or Dragon Ball Z. Or There's that other one they've got in there as well. I can't Sailor Moon? Yeah, that's not my cup. No, I know. But I saw if anyone like, yeah, Sailor Moon. Yeah, Sailor Moon. Yeah. That was a cute can. Yeah. And but the flavour. Oh, flavour, how many out of ten? Uh, a solid... Eight or nine. Oh, really? Go me. It was just a little random yeah. treat. Yeah. And also what I got in there was... Um... Oh, yeah. Can I have them? Thank you. Thank you. Thank cookies. you, please. Thank you, please. Fortune cookies. These were really nice. Yeah. We opened them last year because it is a Chinese New Year. Well, last year, last night. Last year. Well, technically it was last year. Yeah. <laughs> Chinese New Year, yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a bit tired. Um, Yeah, we opened these last night. Um, because it's Chinese New Year, that's what I was trying to say, and honestly, they were so nice. I think they're like 25 calories a cookie, mm. which actually ain't that bad. 
And for me, I don't normally have fortune cookies because they're so hard normally. But these, I thought, oh, I'll give it a little go just to, like, suck on the flavour. A bit of sucking on the flavour. Don't be rude. And they melted in my mouth. Oh, God. I set myself up for these innuendos. But honestly, they were like, they were hard. Like, I couldn't have bit into it. Yeah. But when you leave it on your tongue, it just melted. It just melted. And it was so, like, oh. Delicious. And Delicious. it was only 25 calories. Yeah. So I'm going to get, when we go there, gonna I'm going to get some more. Because, like, snack. yeah. And I loved getting the little fortunes yeah. inside. No, I think like, yours said something about you being simple. Yeah, said, said you're, you're simple, simple but, but cute. nice. Or, yeah. yeah. I don't know how to take that. Um, also, have you got the, is it not seaweed, is it? What is it? It's not seaweed either. So they've done these like little random uh, lucky mystery bags. And I don't know what that was, but I just crackers. I just picked it up for you. <laughs> I was like, I have a mystery bag. No, it's called Edo, is that Edo, Edo? And it's, what is it? Not seaweed. Dried seaweed. Crackers. Have you tried it? Yeah, that's what I've You like or not like? Be honest. It tastes very seaweedy. E. Very fishy, smell it. Has it got fish in it? No, it's made Oh, okay. Seaweed. No, I'm not eating it on camera. Eat it. I'm not going to eat it. It looks very... E. It looks like a... Ooh. It's like what they wrap sushi in. Yeah. See, I love the look of sushi. Sushi is very aesthetically pleasing, but I couldn't eat it. And I know they do do vegetarian and yeah. vegan, but I still couldn't, I couldn't go with it. Come on, my fringe. It's really irritating me. I'm going to cut it when I get back. Um. Oh, so is it like these thin little strips? Yeah. Oh, it smells of fish. Just because it's seaweed. It's from the sea. So do you think fish have been on that? Sea, there's probably weed on it. Ugh. It's quite good seaweed. No, it's... No, it's not. Stupid. Oh, how could you eat that? Did you like it? I don't taste it enough. It's supposed to be very good for you, actually. Yeah, um, what one? Yeah, no, I might have that. Remains. But the cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit cookies, I'll have. The seaweed, not so much. Yeah. But yeah, I think it's called Asian Mart um, yeah. in Hamlet Court Road. Anyhow, so that is that. I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, we did really well, actually, with all them sheets. And we've done Indeed. a good sort. We did it for hours. Just realised. It's been hours. It's been an hour and a half. It felt like hours. It's been hour Okay. It's been hours. But yeah, all done and sorted. So now I am going to, there's a few things I've got to do. I'm going to go for a walk because I've been, obviously I do my steps on my pedometer and I'm up to nearly 8,000. And my challenge at the moment is to get 10K every day or try and get 10K every day, um, like steps. So I did it yesterday, which is good. So I want to try and do it today and I'm so close. So I'm thinking if I just go around to the shop, just walk around the block a couple of times, I just, yeah, it might, it might, I should get it. Yeah. So that is the hope. Um, so I'm going to go to the shop. I'm going to get, I know I'm naughty and I have been a lot better with my spending out on lottery and scratch cards and things, but I do want to get a couple of scratch cards because it's Sunday. It is Sunday. It's a Sunday scratch. So I'm going to get me and Nathan just one scratch card each. That is it. Literally That's just it. one. Um, and just try and get some steps in, as I say, with my walking and that. And then when I come back, we're going to do the shopping. Do you want to do that when I come back? We've got our little notebook here. <laughs> Circus. Looks like you at the bottom, look. It is me. With the gun show. Um, yeah, I've got a little list here of things we're going to be doing. A Morrison's uh, shopping order. Nathan's putting his stuff on first. Mm. And then I'm going to add mine and stuff. Be coming tomorrow. Are you getting it for tomorrow? Yeah. So it's Monday. Mm. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Okay. So, I mean, do you want to know what I've got? I'll tell you. I don't care. All right. So... I've got bog rolls, which is basically toilet rolls, and a common way of saying toilet roll. Bog roll. You want to get a bog roll out? <laughs> um, bog roll. My mum used to always say that, bog roll. Um, kitchen roll we need. Two lots of rolls. Toilet roll and kitchen roll. Um, clover light. I've got one today, but I do like a backup spare one because I do use a lot of clove every day. Um, cathedral city lights, the little cheeses that are better for me. I think they're like... Was it 63 calories for yeah, cheese or something? Um, my Benicol, peach flavour. You have the raspberry or strawberry, I have peach. Um, my cho oh, Muller chocolate fix. Hell to the year. Slim fast shakes, um, only chocolate. I just love them. 
cranberry ocean spray the cranberry the lighter one when yeah. we do the order not the you know um a little baby watermelon i carried a watermelon <laughs> face. you're like you hate it when i say that um and then we've got i need some bread i need some warburton bread two of them for the freezer I've been better with my bread. I used to have so much bread. God knows how many slices I was having before this diet thing. I used to have them in the morning. I used to have them like, in the afternoon. Just come and have a bit of bread. Oh, my days. I was going through a loaf pretty much every couple of days. Yeah, now, one loaf is lasting a good, well, just about a week or yeah. four days, something like that. Yeah, yeah. So, that's good. Um, so, I just put them in the freezer. And I only have brown bread. So, Primula Light. I love Primula Cheese Bread. And Nathan said he saw on the website that they've got um, a Premier Light cheese spread, which I'm really intrigued of, because I do love a bit of Premier. Um, oh, also when I go out, I'm going to get myself a little tub of um, peanut butter, because I only like the cheapy version that they do around the corner shop. Anyway, um, need some veg, broccoli, cauliflower, um, get some mushrooms, only the closed cup mushrooms, sweetheart, cabbage. Oh, sweetheart. Yeah, sweetheart. Yeah. Uh, gravy with the was it was it low ad, no added sugar or salt or something like that the better one uh peri peri mayonnaise is not good for me but i really love it, it it's yeah, just really delicious i just yeah i really like it um oh my barneys one box of the milk one box of chocolate barneys they're only the milk barney bars like little cake bars are 90 calories and the chocolate ones 10 more for 100 so i'm, I'm gonna take that little snack ties me over lovely and some milk milk uh, semi skim milk, which I'm going to go and get now, but I need to actually remember what I need to get now. Scratch cards, semi skim milk, and I've already forgot. Oh, and peanut butter. Yeah, wish me luck with that. But yeah, so that's what we're going to do when I come back, just get this order um, done. And then um, I think I think I might just get that video on for today. I'll do my weight loss journey vlog that I put on every Sunday so I uploaded it last night put all the tags and everything in so I'm just gonna put that on today so it'll be on and public live so I'll do that might do the video premiere see I'm not sure but yeah that is the plan some YouTube work and have I got any editing no I haven't got any editing to do today so that's good makes a change that I haven't got to edit for a day that'll be tomorrow uh, <laughs> I'll be back to the editing then and yeah, I think after that, I'm just going to have a read for a bit. Um, I feel like I've just not read that much recently, which is really sad because I love reading. I'm always just doing stuff or I'm tired or I'm just, I don't know. When I do get to relax and read, I fall asleep because I'm so relaxed. So I'm, I, I promised myself this afternoon I would take some time just to read, just to switch off from everything else and just read. Oh, also what I need to do when I get back from my little wander is this. This. Yeah needs to be cut because it's look at it it's 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 really irritating it keeps going in my eye and just, oh, it just feels horrible and it looks horrible and it's too long like that so that's the plan that's what i'm going to be doing for the next hour or so so i'll see you lovely people in a bit okay everyone so the time is now nine o'clock and i'm just having my dinner it's probably a bit late really why am I eating this late? I don't know. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm having something to eat. I've got, I'll tell you, I've got a small jacket potato. I've got some sweet corn, some cauliflower, and two vegan sausages. Oh, and some mushrooms and a tiny bit of grated cheese. <laughs> Can't have cheese. It's a bit random. A um, bit sad because I was going to have my normal broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, but the broccoli and the uh, cabbage were a bit mm, manky looking. I was like, no, I'm not going to have them. Chucked them in the bin. I think they've just been in there too long. But um, anyway, so this is what I've got instead. So, yeah, I'm eating a bit late. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm just sitting here burping. You can see above me. Look, the heart balloon. Look, here it is. Come here. Ah. There we go. Bigger than my head. And I've got a big head. There we go. Right, yeah, that's for Valentine's Day. So I might get another one, actually. Do you think I should get two? Because it looks a bit bare. Like one each. Like right, for Valentine's do Day. We need one each. We do need one each. Do we? One fifty. Maybe just one, then. Do you think it's a waste of money? Yeah, because 
when we have a selfie with our balloons, mm. it's two balloons and us. And we will be having a selfie. I love a selfie. It'll just be a picture of two balloons, really. <laughs> True. Yeah. Okay. We'll just have the one balloon. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm just having something to eat. After that, I'm going to go and... Um, I know it sounds really boring. Sorry, viewers, but... I am going to sit and read because I am really enjoying my book. But I did a bit on the bike. Um, not as much as I should have, but I did do a bit on the bike. The reason why I stopped being on the bike after a short amount of time was because it was so hot in here. I got really cold and we put the heating on. And then I was like, oh, I'm really hot now. So with our central heating, when you turn it off, it is still really hot afterwards, like an hour after. So I was on the bike. I was like, oh, God, I feel a bit woozy and just hot. So I come off of it. But... Obviously, I've done a lot of walking as well today. Done me 10,000 steps again, so I'm happy about that. But anyway, so yeah, I did the bike. Um, we've done all our shopping order. When does it turn up tomorrow? Tomorrow. So we've got our order to turn up tomorrow. So yeah, what I'm going to do the rest of the night is just chill with my book. I was meant to put some eBay on, but if I'm honest, I can't be bothered. So I'm going to do that tomorrow night. Um, but yeah, that is that. So thank you for watching. I might as well end the vlog now, because literally I'm going to be doing this reading. So, you know... Um, I'm just having something to eat. I'm going to watch a couple of YouTube videos while I do. I've got a new video from Worms Eye View to watch and a new video from Demi Donnelly. I think they're my two that I watch all the time. I literally, I I just, I don't know. I love their vlogs. I love finding out about their lives, what they're up to. And they calm me down. They relax me. I'm used to them. I don't know. I just enjoy, enjoy their videos. Um, so I'm going to watch that. I also watch a channel called Jubilee as well, which is really interesting. They do like different debates and things like that. So they're the three kind of main channels that I'm watching all the time. So, I'll say goodbye for now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, click like. Oh, I've spilled gravy down my top. That's disgusting. Um, click like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, all the links down below to my social medias. Come and follow me on there. And don't forget, minxlaw 123 ASMR, my other channel. Links down below to that. I'd love you to go and subscribe to my other channel. I have a throne wish list if you want to spoil me or treat me or treat him. He's got some, you've got some Lego vouchers on there. So, you know, if you don't want to treat me, treat him. And I have a Goodreads page if you want to follow me on there. All right, everyone, well, thanks for watching and spending the weekend with me. Um, I'm not going to be vlogging tomorrow, I don't think. Um, maybe I will, maybe I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, just working tomorrow and I've got to cut the post office tomorrow because I've got eBay parcels that need posting. Um... I think I need Sainsbury's possibly. Oh, no, I don't need to think because I'll put it on the order. So I don't need to go to Sainsbury's. Just the post office, really. Um, and just do a bit of walking for my steps and that. So, yeah, I probably won't vlog tomorrow. It's a bit boring. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Bye.